109 times the Michigan Wolverines have won their season opener. That's not bad. Today by now, you already know they made it 110, but let's show you how they got it done. Ahmed, you're going to want to look away. Taylor Lewan leads out team 134 out of the tunnel as the Wolverines look to improve to 4-0 against CMU, and they would start off right. First chips possession. This happens. A freshman, DeMonte Thomas, blocks a punt. Joe Reynolds scoops it up, and just like that, it's 7-0. Michigan. Things shaken for Devin Gardner on shaky for uh, Michigan on the first possession. Jarrett Chapman gets the INT, which leads to a Chips field goal. But on the next Wolverines offensive possession, Devin Gardner can't find an open receiver. He does things himself, rushing for a 22 yard score. Michigan jumps up by 11. As we fast forward to the second quarter, Wolverine, Wolverines lead 21 to three. Marching down the field again, Gardner finds Jeremy Gallon across the middle, and it's 28 to three. After a Clark interception with two minutes left in the half, Gardner leads the team down again. His second rushing touchdown of the game, he finished with three total touchdowns as Michigan wins big on opening day, 59 to nine. I feel like I was pretty efficient you know, and getting us in the right plays and, you know, making the throws when they're there and making plays out of, you know, oppor make, making opportunities for myself when um, things break down. So I feel like I did well in those aspects. I just got to take the turnovers away. I think we did a really good job sticking together. So I think that's kind of what we put the emphasis on and we came out here and we, we played good football. Now, despite the lopsided score for the chips, CMU did some things well. They were able to snag three interceptions from Michigan QBs and early had the momentum for a bit. Brady Hulk, who's been watching the program from afar for some time, made sure Chips head coach Dan Enos knew that prior to the contest. I told him for the game, you know, he, he's got the thing going in, in a really good direction. You know, I think we were fortunate today and worked out our way, but I, I, we were very impressed. Next up for the Wolverines, one week from today, the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame under the lights who will visit the big house for the last time for quite some time as that rivalry is coming to an end. 